Hi guys, good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very quick video for you. Yesterday I watched the video Content Nuke on Keemstar by H3H3 Productions. I also watched the response video from Drama Alert and I wanted to give my opinion on this whole situation and controversy. Before we jump into it, I would like to give you guys a little bit of a backstory for those two individuals, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about. Both H3H3 and Keemstar are very large creators on the platform with over 5 million subscribers and a very dedicated fan base. H3H3 is a channel owned by the creators Ethan and Hila Klein. In the past seven years they have been creating comedy skits and comedy videos on the platform from which in the last three years they have been concentrating more on their podcast work and also establishing their own clothing line. Daniel Kim aka Kimstar is the owner of the channel Drama Alert. He also has been on the platform for over five years now, establishing his channel as a drama-based news channel specializing in YouTube related content. Both Ethan and Kimstar have both been known to dip their toes in numerous amount of controversies. However, today I am only going to respond to the latest one one connected to the last video which Ethan released on his channel. Now a little disclaimer in here, I personally have been subscribed to both of these channels in the past. I have enjoyed both of those creators content. If you would like to form your own opinion, I suggest that you go and watch the original videos. I will link both the original video and Kimstar's response down in the description below. On the 20th of May, H3H3 Productions released a video called content nuke on Keemstar. It was a 46 minutes video, I will try to summarize it in here, but basically he highlighted a few incidents starting with Number 1. A few years ago Keemstar wrongly accused a 62 year old streamer of being a convicted pedophile. He based his accusations solely in the fact that the two men looked alike. The streamer's name in question, his name is Tony, and when I watched his response to it, it really, really broke my heart. Later on, Kimstar released a video called We Got It Wrong, I'm Sorry, We Will Do Better. In this video, he addressed the situation, he apologized, he said that he feels so bad. However, a part of this video which really left a very bad taste in my mouth is the fact that Kimstar claimed he has been wrongly fed this information by somebody in his team. It felt like he tried to throw the ball towards an unnamed person from his team and clean his hands in this way. I do understand that people get stories wrong. I'm sure that even big news channels also sometimes get things wrong. However, if the story ended here, I don't think it would have been so bad. But there is more. One year and a half later, Tony left a tweet addressed to Keemstar explaining how he continued to receive a lot of hate and harassment after this incident. Keemstar's response to Tony's tweet, as per my opinion, is so unacceptable, but I will play it for you and you can decide on your own. I am not going to put up with you fucking blaming me for people trolling you anymore, because I am not guilty of that. I'm guilty of that video being wrong and what I said about you, but I'm not guilty of you being trolled in 2017. If this happened once or twice, I just, I just let it go. But you've done this to me multiple times over the last six months. And I'm holding back every urge from saying just like, go fuck you, go fuck yourself. I'm holding that back. He claims that he's not responsible for anything which has happened in this past one and a half years to Tony, rather than the initial video which he did, for which he already apologized. Now, if we argue from an actual judicial standpoint, I'm not entirely sure. I believe this is a gray area. But if we speak from a moral perspective, he absolutely is responsible for this situation. He is the person of influence. He is the person who made these wrong claims, which ended on such long harassment towards this person. Absolutely, Kimstar is responsible. Another thing which really rubbed me the wrong way about this situation is the fact that Tony is just an elderly streamer who is trying to go on with his life. However, Kimstar is a very, very successful businessman with a lot of financial support behind him. Even if we sit here and speculate that this could have been considered to be a slander, I don't believe that Tony would ever have the financial power to go against Kimstar. Now, we can sit here and speculate who is right and who is wrong in this situation, However, I want to make one thing very clear. This man is not a convicted felon. Point number two. Kimstar in the past has been very well known to publicly dox people. He actually admits that openly. Yeah, I dox people all the time. I'm, I run a news show. Like, it's literally part of the job. I need to know 
who so people gathering are. People's I need to in know personal information where they live. I need to know where. I'm sorry, bitch, but I'm talking and you're talking when I talk. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally don't know any news organization or news channel in which they will just publicly dox your name or dox your phone number or home address. I personally do think that Kimstar knows in this situation he's not right. However, I believe that he's doubling down, trying to play on the alpha mentality of his viewership in the hopes that his fan base will protect him. As for the ending in this video, I personally don't think that I even need to comment. This type of behavior and the way that he talked to this girl just shows a man insecure in this situation to the point that he has to use verbal dominance against the other person. I think it shows more weakness than anything else. Point number three. In this next video, Kimstar appears to be mocking another YouTuber's tweet update in which he appears to be in a low mental point of his life. Today's story is about Basher. He had a breakdown on Twitter and quite frankly, he's suicidal. This is what he said on Twitter. I almost killed myself today on the way home. I'm not sure why I can't ever just go through with it. Constant highs, lows. I can't take this anymore. We can sit here and speculate that once Basher, the guy who released the tweet, once he released the tweet for the public, knowing that he's a public figure, he already gave his consent into being scrutinized. And even though I find Kim Star's response to this tweet to be completely distasteful, I find his overall position on mental health to be even worse. We don't believe in depression in this household. We believe if you're sad, work harder. If you claim that you have mental health issues, people automatically support you. They automatically feel bad for you. They automatically give you attention. Mental health has been proven to be one of the most rapidly growing disorders of our time. Downplaying it to simply not working hard enough is not only useless for the person who is in this state, but straight up dangerous. FYI, everyone gets depressed. Only the weak let it define them. If you want to be left alone, here is a block. Real talk, if you suffer from panic attacks and you're old enough to drink, the best way to stop a panic attack real quick is to have a sip of beer. You only need like three sips. In this tweet, he appears that he's trying to say that a panic attack can be prevented by alcohol. Now, I am no doctor. I don't understand enough about mental health to speak towards if alcohol helps or not mental health. However, Kim Star is also not a mental health professional. For him using his huge, huge following and releasing tweets like that, for me, this is straight up dangerous. There are people who follow him. There are people who look up to him. And when he tweets something like this, there will be people who are feeling in this particular way and they may feel like they're inadequate. In our time online, we have seen multiple mental health pseudo coaches telling you to change your diet, telling you to go for a run, simply go vegan or go fully carnivore or straight up just get over yourself. All this not only completely does not work, but it shows the person who already is depressed. It only shows them that it is their own fault, which essentially could be the difference between life or death. I want to make one thing very clear in here. Everybody has a low point in their life. Everybody is going through depression. Doesn't matter if you're the richest person in the world or the poorest person in the world. Money or fame or beauty does not particularly make such huge of a difference when it comes to depression. Depression could hit anybody. And if you find somebody in your surroundings or yourself that you feel in this way, do not listen to people like this telling you that it's your own fault or that you just need to change XYZ things in your life, go and seek professional help. Speak with the people who are close to you and ask them for an advice. Point number four. The last point which I will be reviewing today is the relationship between the late YouTuber Etika and Kimstar. I want to say that these are not all the points which H3H3 reviewed on their channel if you would like to see the whole full video again. Both of those videos will be down below. Edika was a YouTuber who tragically decided to take his own life. On June 19th, he went missing after posting an eight minute long video on his YouTube channel called I'm Sorry. Well, sadly, we are learning new details about the death of popular YouTuber Edika. 
The medical examiner's office says the 29-year-old drowned in the East River by suicide. Etika, whose real name is Desmond Amofa, was found Monday near the South Street Seaport. The NYPD says some of his things were located along the Manhattan Bridge two days earlier. Fans became worried about the YouTuber last week when he posted an eight-minute video saying it's been a nice life. In his video, Ethan accuses Kim Star of pushing Etika too far prior to the tragedy by doxing the mental health institution in which Etika was staying at that time and putting even more pressure on him by tagging him for an interview, trying to capitalize on the situation. As I said earlier, Kimstar released a response video. In his response video, he claims that the situation was completely misrepresented. He claims that he was good friends with Edeka and often talked on the phone. In this tweet from 25th of October, though, he says about Etika. He's not my friend. I barely spoke to him. I'm worried, but there is nothing I can do. It doesn't really paint the picture of them being very close or being friends. He also shares screenshots of Etika's mom and his girlfriend, saying that Kimstar is not to blame and one of Etika's dreams was actually to appear on Drama Alert. Now, do I personally think that Kimstar is to blame for Etika's death? No. Do I think that he monetized on his mental instability, making it into a YouTube circus? Yes, I 100% do think so. Whenever there is no drama, he will create some out of thin air. And whenever there is something worth reporting on, he will milk this to the last drop. I don't think that Kimstar was friend with Adika. In fact, I don't think Kimstar has many friends to begin with. I think that he is a narcissist who only cares about his own well-being. This situation is still developing. I just saw that H3H3 released another video. I'm sure that Kimstar also will release another response. I will stay on top of it and I will give my further review in another video. I still urge all of you to not take my opinion as the right one. I think that you should watch the original videos and just decide on your own. Those were just a few topics which I wanted to hit upon and I wanted to share my point of view. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you would like more content from me, the links to all my social media will be linked down below. If you would like to see some more of this type of review videos from me, please do give this video a like so I know. And while you're there, if you would like to support me on my way to 100,000 subscribers, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell. Thank you again and have a nice day. Bye!